Hi, and thank you for stopping by Pastor D's Thoughts. A little earlier today, I had a chance encounter where I ran into somebody who I've not seen in quite some time, six or seven years. Uh, this lady used to attend this church, but I, as I said, I've not seen her. I've spoken to her a few times over the years on the phone. Um, and as I was talking to her, she was asking me about how the church is going. And she said, I've been thinking about stopping by. And so I asked her, I said, where are you going to church? And she said, well, I really haven't gone anywhere for quite some time. She said, I've tried this place. And she named several churches. And I, I stopped her and I said, you know, I, said, I don't mean to be rude. I said, but I've known you for a number of years now. And I said, you've come and gone from our church two or three different times. I said, you've gone to, and I named several other churches. And I said, you just seem to never take root anywhere. And I could tell that, that kind of aggravated her a little bit. And I said, let me ask you a question. I said, why do you keep going from church to church? And she said, well, frankly, none of them meet my needs. I stopped for just a moment. I asked her, I said, let me ask you this serious question. I said, why is it that you need a church that fits your needs rather than you finding a place where you fit in and you become a part of that church? She asked me what I meant. I said, well, let me take it away from the church. I said, do you remember the words of John F. Kennedy? He said, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. I said, it really is the same principle with the church. I said, you've heard me say this, and I'm sure you've heard it other places. I said, the building is not the church. It's the people. I said, you are the church. And I said, and the fact of the matter is, I said, you have never become a part of a church. I said, you're a spectator, a visitor, and you bounced from place to place over the years looking for a place that's going to make you feel good, a place, as you said, is going to meet your needs. I said, but you've never become an active part of the church. And I said, that is what is wrong with the body of Christ today. And I'll be honest, she got a little bit upset with me and this conversation ended, but it just got my mind to running and I came back here to shoot this quick video because I believe that is a problem with so many people and with so many churches. People are looking for a place that thrills them, a people that they are happy with, rather than looking for a place to build. I've had numerous people leave our church and say, well, you just don't have the right program, the right youth program, the right kids program, or this thing or that thing. And rather than help us to build that program, they went someplace else. And when that place didn't meet up to another expectation, they left there and they went somewhere else and they've continued to change over and over. And I think this is a trend in the body of Christ by and large. I want to encourage you today, if you're not part of a church, find one. Membership is important. Membership counts because when you join a church, when you actually become a member, you make yourself accountable to those people, not only to that pastor, but to the people of that church. You are part of that body and we belong together. If you don't join, what you're really saying is, I'm just a spectator. I'm just passing through. I don't know how long I'm going to be here. Joining means commitment. I call that the C word. People don't like to hear that word commitment anymore, but commitment is important. When you commit, you say, I have become a part of this. I will fight for this till my dying breath. I want to encourage you, whether you're here in this area, we'd love to have you right here at the Oasis Church, but wherever you are, if you're not a part of a church, even if you're attending a church and you're not a member there, I want to encourage you to go seek out your pastor, talk to him, what do I need to do to become a member of this church? Because you need to become an active part of a thriving body. God bless you. Come back and see me again at Pastor D's Thoughts.